Welcome to the Brian Wright Audio Experience, a podcast dedicated to helping entrepreneurs grow their business, make more money, and successfully navigate through the chaos of life, all while working, spending, and stressing less. And now your host, he's a husband, a father of two, an international business and life coach, and a trusted motivational speaker for some of the most respected companies in the world, such as Invisalign and many others. Brian Wright. Hey, everybody. Welcome inside the broadcast booth. If you're watching over on our YouTube station, hey there. Thanks for your support. And at any minute, you'll probably be seeing my podcast studio and, and office doors fly open to my good buddy, uh, my golden doodle, Winston, who has figured out how to open up my doors. And he is a daddy's boy, to say the least. So if you see this furry animal in the background all of a sudden, then you'll know that you've already been introduced. <laughs> but welcome, everybody. Like I said, inside the broadcast booth to the first episode and first season of the Brian Wright Show. So excited uh, to sit behind the mic and get to know all of you. There is many of you out there uh, that have asked me to start a podcast like this. Uh, You stopped me in an airport or uh, just after seeing me on stage, whatever it may be. And you've really inspired me to do it. And and now we're here. Um, I've had a podcast, uh, for those of many of you already know this, but uh, if you're a new listener, you're just coming across the show, I've had a podcast for for many years over in the orthodontic space, uh, we help business owners that are also doctors, uh, help them grow their business, improve their life, improve their their marriage, uh, improve their leadership skills, all the intangibles that inevitably go into being a great entrepreneur, a great business owner, even those are two very different two very different things that we'll have a podcast about. On paper, a business owner and entrepreneur are the same, but in reality, they're very different. But so excited uh, to be here. As I do this podcast today, we just wrapped up season six of the New Patient Group podcast uh, over on all the major channels. Uh, So if you want to check that out, uh, just I recommend listening to the most recent season first, work yourself backwards. Uh, But it's great to be here. Uh, We are just getting back from a great event in Montreal, the NISO event. Uh, Audience members, you were absolutely fantastic. Uh, There was a great audience. Your participation was wonderful. I put you through some some Navy SEALs exercises in the audience and some other life exercises. You did great. You you participated great. Uh, And thanks for the wonderful feedback. And Montreal, speaking of, of Montreal, is a really unique place. You know, I, I used to travel to Vancouver and Toronto a lot, did a lot of events there. We had a lot of customers in that area. And, but Montreal has been a long time since I've got to go there. And Montreal very much has a feeling of in France. You know, If you look at websites and you're trying to search for a restaurant or if you're at a restaurant and you're looking at the menu and you're at a hotel and you're trying to find yourself or, you know, your way around – almost everything is in French. And it's kind of cool because it kind of forces you to at least learn the basics to to be able to get around or, you know, Google translate some of the words. And uh, I always have a fun time going there. It's been a long time uh, since since I got to go there. Some podcast listeners, uh, you actually, you actually uh, after the event, invited me to go to the, the Montreal Canadiens game. I, I really appreciate the invite. And, you know, one of the, one of the things that, that this podcast uh, does, and one of the things I coach is, is a constant self-reflection. You know, we live in a, a society where, you know, looking in the mirror is, is not easy to do. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, advertising is so easy is that, you know, you just keep dumping money in advertising. All it does is hide the real wounds that exist in your business uh, underneath the Band-Aid. And, and looking in the mirror and saying, you know, how can I be a better leader, better culture? How can I lead my employees better? How can I train them in a unique way that very few people will commit to doing so they're better when they're in front of my customer? How can we produce more content in our digital market? All that stuff requires a, a look within focus. And it's, and it's very difficult. And I bring that up because I ended up not going to the Montreal Canadiens game with some of the audience members because not because I didn't want to. Uh, but it was more a, you know, I walked the streets of downtown. I, I ended up at a, a restaurant uh, steak and sushi place called Vargas. Uh, for many of you, it's the first time you're listening to this podcast. Uh, I'm a big foodie. I've been to some professional schools. I love to cook. Um, we're always doing some cool cooking stuff at the house. And uh, I love talking about cooking. So, you know, I'll, I'll go off on random cooking tips on here. So, so I apologize. It's not a cooking show, uh, but I... You know, I do have restaurants as customers and and I have a passion around food and things like that. So I do enjoy. So if you're in Montreal, Vargas uh, was spot on. I just, I sat at the bar 
uh, talked to the bartender that night and just kind of look back on, you know, what, what, what did I uh, appreciate about the event? What did I think I did well? What could I have done better? How could I have, of, you know, reorganized the keynote or new ideas to make sure the audience got even more out of it as they went back, uh, to their, to their business, uh, back wherever they lived. And, and I enjoy self-reflection. It's not the easiest thing. I'm, I'm one of the most self-critical people that you will ever meet. I hide it sometimes, but I am very self-critical. So, you know, went through my notes, kind of enjoyed a night to myself. The night before that, uh, so a couple a couple employees came in and uh, we ate at a place called Fioria Cafe. It's a Portuguese seafood restaurant. And, and both of them... Both of them were spot on. The Furia Cafe and then Vargas, both nights were, were fantastic. So if you're in Montreal, uh, I suggest making reservations at both or, or at least one if you can. You know, I, I like the, you know, when you go and travel, there's always interesting things, especially when you're outside the country. And, and Montreal, if you haven't been, it's a cool one because it does, you know, uh, the first night I was there, I walked the streets of downtown too. And just, you know, uh, so 90% of the people were smoking. And like I said, everything's in a different language and their downtown is really neat. It's a great, great shopping experiences, great, great restaurants. Uh, for foodies out there. Also, just getting back from Tampa. Um, so those of you who are new to the podcast, new to me, you're just now starting to listen. I am a speaker uh, for Align Technology, which is the publicly traded entity. Uh, they are the makers of Invisalign, uh, the clear braces, and uh, they send me well, all over the country and, and event, eventually probably all over the world uh, to do what we're going to do on this podcast and what I do on stage for companies all over the world, just motivation, business, life coaching, how to make yourself and your business unique, how to offer an exceptional experience to both your employees and your customers, not only leading up to purchase, but what happens after. Be quite a bit of information on this podcast. I am obsessed with customer experience. Uh, it's inevitably everything I teach, you can relate back to uh, experience grows sales, right? Sales through experience and and wowing people by going beyond. And it's such a unique opportunity for people because people just, they don't do it. Uh, we're, we're taught and it's an inevitable lie. You know, we're taught as business owners to always be focused on the sale. When inevitably, if you focus on the people that already bought from you, uh, you'd kick everyone's ass. You know, a perfect example of that, and, and we're not going to get in the weeds on this today because these are obviously future podcasts. You know, a perfect example of that is, is and you can ask yourself as a business who you are, but if I call your customer service line, does somebody answer right away or do I wait on hold? As opposed to when I call your sales line, uh, do I get an answer right away? And from an infinite mindset, which will be plenty of podcasts around the infinite mindset, the reality of the situation is, is your customer service line should be and have more employees than your sales line. And that comment right there, as well as almost everything you're going to learn, is I'm going to flip your whole business world, your entrepreneur journey uh, completely upside down. There is a a reason, and I'll dive into it a little bit today. You know, today's going to be just, hey, why do we exist? You know, we exist for entrepreneurs. I believe all the rules in this country, the laws, the tax laws, the employment laws, um, are so against the entrepreneur now. I, I mean, there, there's some states like California where an employee could walk in and and, and shoot five people in, in your office and you fired them, you'd still going to get, they're still going to somehow win an unemployment claim. I mean, just the laws are just absolutely insane against the business owner when technically, you know, really in reality, the laws should all be set up for entrepreneurs to win. But we just unfortunately live in a country now where that's, that's just not the case. So because of that, you know, I love getting back here and, and teaching you very unique things on how to stand out without having to advertise or by lessening your advertising and still growing. A lot of you out there, you know, you do grow and you're happy with it, uh, but you may be chaotic. Uh, you may be stressed. Uh, you know, growth comes with, with problems, usually good problems, but inevitably problems. And we're going to talk about the whole world on this podcast, everything to do with, with business growth and efficiency and and profit, which I have a different description of profit than than you've probably heard before that we'll dive into, but revenue, all the things that we can see, but also more importantly, what this podcast is going to dive into is all the things that we can't see. You know, there's a thousand metrics for for numbers that you can see on paper. There's really no metrics for culture and leadership and self-improvement and compassion and empathy and, and you know, being a good team member, employees, you know, we have a, a lot of employees that, that listen to the New Patient Group podcast. And 
I've said this for years as a business and life coach. A lot of times, you, you know, you, you have billionaires have coaches and business and life coaches or rich people or just a long story of people that can afford it. Uh, but the people that are on the ground floor that are inevitably taking care of your customer, uh, often, you know, business and life coaches, especially good ones, uh, are way out of their price range. Well, something that I'm very passionate about when we work with customers and we come in and consult and and we coach and 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 we help you get better at whatever your problems happen to be. A big part of what I love is interacting with the employees and finding out their struggles and and helping them both in their their personal life and their their journey through life. Uh, as well as their journey through their career. If you're somebody else, if you're somebody out there that just wants to improve themselves, you may not be a business owner. Even though this podcast is dedicated to entrepreneurs and their families, we have, like I said, over on the new patient group side, you know, tons of of reps that work for Invisalign and dental monitoring and OrthoFi and a lot of the big names in the in the orthodontic space. Uh, we have employees, you know, we have a lot of people that listen to that podcast that just want to improve, you know, maybe they just want to make more money in their career or be better at their job uh, in order to serve their customer better, whatever it may be. So, you know, I, I so much look forward to, you know, coming back from, from these, from these events, like the one in, in Tampa, I just spoke for Invisalign there. And there was, I, I think, uh, 10 doctors plus team members in, in the room. And we did it at a top golf and it was a great experience. It was a wonderful, wonderful event. And I just, I always, uh, you know, I, I just, I think every single time, I never take it for granted. Every time I go on stage, I, I never take it for granted because you never know when the last time you go up there is. And if you haven't already noticed today, I, my voice is shot. Coming off the, the Tampa event, uh, the microphone was having a lot of issues, the speaker system. So I just yanked it off and I kind of talked at the top of my lungs to make sure everybody could hear me. But it is, it is causing mine to be lost. <laughs> For, for sure. So if you hear some squeakiness, just know that's not my normal my normal voice. It'll be coming back on future podcasts. And every time I'm out there, I just I pour my heart and soul into it, just like I do with this podcast. And and our message is not a uh, the masses are not attracted to what I talk about on here. You know, there there are there are things that we have, and I'll get back to what I was talking about with the audience here in just a second. But you know, there are things we are told as business owners uh, that are just total bullshit. Um, you know, the, the advertising companies out there, the pay-per-click companies out there just make a killing off of business owners and 80, 90% of, of businesses still go out of business. And, you know, Mark Cuban left Shark Tank recently and the total amount he invested when he was there was around 20 million, uh, and he lost money. And, you know, these are people that have the funding, they have the notoriety, they've got the backing, they've got the publicity, they've, you know, on the surface, at least have the products or, or the service, and they still go under. And when you're watching the Shark Tank, you know, they, they like to show the successes, but the successes are few and far between. Most of those companies go under. And you say to yourself, why? Well, those companies still don't have the intangibles of what it takes to, to kick everyone's ass. You know, exceptional culture through extra, extraordinary leadership. Um, looking at numbers differently, not like an MBA, but like a, a real entrepreneur, uh, training their team how to interact with the customer before purchase and after to make sure every interaction you have with a customer boosts your brand forward. There's a lie about brand awareness. You know, if you're Invisalign, as an example, you know, you've all seen their commercials. And for a company like Invisalign, their brand is marketing to the consumer. That's how you're going to know them. And then that's how you're going to go do a Google search or a YouTube search or whatever it may be. Uh, but inevitably for the small business, uh, like the practice that you're going to buy Invisalign from, their brand does not, does not come from the marketing outside their doors. Their brand comes from inside their doors. Same way, if you're a restaurant owner watching this, you know how you win is making sure the food is, is exceptional, the experience that the waiters are trained to provide and the managers on the floor and the people, how they greet, et cetera, that we'll be talking so much on here uh, is exceptional. And then inevitably, the, the ambiance of your place is exceptional. And then you do cool stuff online, like live camera feed from the kitchen and videos from the head chef and how you interact on the YouTube station with people. Those are the reasons, inevitably, how you kick everyone's butt. It's not the advertising you do. And so many of you look at that backwards. You know, you're, you're, you're on to the next sale after you close somebody rather than focusing on having a culture on how to offer 
these unexpected hospitable experiences that, that we teach. I'm actually working on a book right now, and it's called Unexpected Hospitality. Uh, we're still quite a ways away from launch, but I can't wait for that book to come out because inevitably that's everything we teach. You know, whatever your customer or whatever your employee from a leadership standpoint would expect at this given moment, are you, are you meeting expectations? Or are you going beyond? And what we teach in, in, this, con, in, in this industry, in this new, new economy, excuse me, is that if you're meeting expectations, you're dead, especially if you function in a commoditized world, which inevitably my name uh, and where I speak at events and where I'm asked to get in and provide motivation and inspiration to people is in commoditized businesses. You know, you type in plumber, lawyer, restaurant, uh, Invisalign, you know, as an example, that's why we're so popular over in orthodontics. We're the only company that teaches what we teach. Uh, we come from outside of their, their healthcare bubble and completely flip everything upside down. It's why it works. And that's exactly what we're going to do for all of you on here is I'm going to flip you upside down to whatever people inside your specific industry are teaching. And I'm going to gut it out and we're going to start all over. And like I was getting at earlier from a niche standpoint, this message is not for the masses, nor is it intended to be. You know, you have to have a very specific mindset to realize you do not need advertising to win. And, you know, as an example, so as I do this podcast today, we're 11 years in with new patient group over in the orthodontic space. And we have other, we have plastic surgeons and dentists and uh, pedos and, you know, other types of doctors, but the, the main majority of our, our customer base are orthodontics. And 11 years ago, when I started New Patient Group, I wasn't in orthodontics. And 11 years later, I'm one of the lead speakers for a $3 billion publicly traded company with Invisalign. I'm a speaker for several other big names in orthodontics that don't market to the consumer, so you won't know their names like OrthoFi and Dental Monitoring and others. Uh, we have a 98% client retention rate with New Patient Group. Mother company, WriteChat, that answers incoming new patient calls for practices and remotes into their schedule and schedules them, has a 100% client success rate, or excuse me, client retention rate. And we've never advertised. So you say to yourself, how in the hell could somebody that wasn't even in orthodontics a decade ago um, have the biggest names as customers in orthodontics, speak on stage all over the world for Invisalign and other company names without advertising? And the answer to that is, is that recipe is going to be provided to you on this podcast over the course of time. Uh, telling my journey is just, you know, for those of you who know me out there, you know, the, you know, when I meet people, I was getting this at this earlier, you know, I'm at these events, you know, people come up and introduce themselves or like, you know, I've listened to your podcast for years, or I saw you speak on stage and thanks so much. And or I saw you speak on stage a year ago and the last year has been transformative in my life and my business, whatever it may be. I, for those of you who know me, you know, I'm kind of a, you know, while I love the words of affirmation, of course, um, it, it kind of makes me feel, I, I blush, long, long story short, but it's great to hear, but it's a very specific niche of people. Like if you go to my audiences, like in Tampa, you know, there's not going to be a thousand people there. You know, there's going to be, I think we had, you know, probably 40, 50, 60 in that room. Uh, the audience in Montreal, there was probably a few hundred. And sure, there's some events that have thousands in the audience. Uh, but the point is, and that's why it's so unique, the message that you're going to hear from me, and that whether it's to improve your marriage or to improve your life or to advance your skill sets and advance your career or to better your business. And it's not all about growth. You know, we get into this this world as business owners of grow, 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 more customers, more patients, more this, more that, more, 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 more. And you go to these events and you hear people talking about advertising and more and more this and dump more in this. What you're going to hear from me on here is how to slow down and and how to set your business up in a way that allows you to achieve your life goals and vice versa. You know, set your, your life up in a way that's going to allow you to achieve your your business goals. You know, we are somewhat blind as business owners sometimes to, to, to forget that what goes on in your house very much is what's going to go on inside your business. The father you are to your kids, as an example, if you're a good one in what makes a great father, it's the same thing that makes a great leader inside a business. You know, your job is to make people better and communicate your vision, hold people accountable to the rules 
making sure they're better today than they were yesterday. These are the things that are that are infinite. They're unmeasurable. We don't have metrics that inevitably measure the things that actually move the needle. Like we all know our revenue, our production, our collections, our new customers, our conversion rate. Most businesses know all that stuff. But inevitably, the stuff that actually makes those things go up Rarely are those their metrics, culture, leadership, self-improvement, compassion, empathy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, on down the line. Um, we don't see these things. Yet those are the things that make or break everything that we want to achieve, regardless of what we want to achieve. And I'm very much a believer that nobody can define your success. You get to define your success. Now, the only thing that that you then can't do is stand in the way of somebody else's success. We have a big problem with that in this country right now where, you know, you may be a person that that wants 10 cars and five boats and 20 homes. Well, you know what? If that's what you want, go out and get it, baby. We live in a country that if you do things differently than other people, you work hard, you save, you sacrifice, you hold yourself accountable, you'll be able to achieve things that people that don't do those things won't. And there is nothing to be ashamed of that whatsoever. You may be a person that, that wants to donate it all to charity, and good for you. If that's the case, let's set the business up in a way to make sure you have as much money as you can to donate to the charities you want. The reality is, is that your blood, sweat, and tears, you earn the money, you get to do with what you want with it. And, and that's where there's no one, hey, this is the way to do it. Right on here, there's going to be countless ideas that you're going to be able to take. And based on what you want to achieve, you're going to be able to achieve things that you will not believe while, and this should be the goal for all of you out there, reducing and or eliminating all the advertising, all the crap that, that all of you or a lot of you do out there, it's just not needed. And, and how you do that is there's not, again, there's not a, a playbook to it. But there certainly is a lot of ingredients to the recipe that I'm going to be talking out uh, uh, talking about on here, and and I can't wait uh, to to dive into to all the things that you know from an entrepreneur standpoint. You know, I've had companies that have failed, and and looking back on it, I don't consider them failure. You know, of course, at the time you do, but but looking back on it, I don't consider them failures at all now because I learned so much from from what not to do that that's why the companies I start now are so successful. It's why the things that we install into people's lives and their businesses are so successful. But because all of this is a niche, this is why, you know, you look at a Ritz Carlton, you look at a Walt Disney, you look at some of these famous institutions, and it's not about being famous, but a lot of them have kind of the same ingredients to the overall recipe. They train their team in a very unique way to where when they interact with the consumer, the consumer always feels good. They do their digital marketing organically, not paid, organically in a way that just makes you feel good when you're looking around and you're on their website and you go to their YouTube station and you're on their social media channels. They also spend so much time on the culture of their organization and training their leaders. And leadership is a trained skill set, just like anything else that we'll have plenty of podcasts about. Um, all this stuff is what I go around the world teaching on stage. And I can't wait uh, to just bring it all to you and, and tell stories. This is very much going to be a contemporary radio show. I will have guests on occasionally. Uh, but the one thing you will find with with podcasts, um, a lot of and, and a lot of hosts that are very popular they have guests for a couple of reasons. One, when you bring in a guest, it draws the, the following of that guest now gets drawn to your podcast to boost your numbers. Two, they can't come up with enough ideas to consistently put out a new show week after week, month after month, et cetera, on their own. What you will find with this podcast is it's endless, meaning that there is thousands upon thousands of podcasts that I already have listed out. Um, the ideas are are endless uh, that's going to come to you from this broadcast booth. I don't care about numbers. Uh, I care about you. I care about the experience you get listening. I care about your life. Uh, one of my my missions in life is to help as many people achieve prosperity as possible before I'm no longer on this planet. And simply what I mean by that is what I said earlier is I believe all of you can achieve prosperity, but I believe each one of you have a, def a different definition for that. And that's beautiful. Like I said, some people achieving prosperity is making $5 million a year and having a few homes and a private jet 
If that's what you view it, it's beautiful. Now, other people out there, you can't stand in the way of that. That's a problem. Now, you may not agree with it, but you can't stand in the way of it. Now, for somebody else out there achieving prosperity, like I said, maybe donating as much uh, to a cause, uh, maybe it to cancer, to maybe cancer research, whatever it may be, you get the point. Everyone has their own definition of achieving prosperity, and I believe all of you can achieve whatever your definition of that is, and I'm here to help that. Uh, we recently moved uh, from Houston, as I do this podcast, to Colorado Springs. So we used to have this in Houston, and Colorado Springs is now where I'm going to host a lot of our workshops. And we're going to do cool hikes together. And there's a lodge in our community in Flying Horse um, that I'm going to have select uh, customers in to, to do a two-day workshop. We're going to have great times. And I'll announce more details about that and, and how you can join and Right now is not the time for that, but it's just, I'm so excited. Uh, you know, listeners out there, uh, my, my followers and fans out there that really inspired me to do this podcast, um, I want to say thank you again. Uh, I love you all. Uh, you mean the world to me, and we're going to rock it, baby. This podcast is going to become just like New Patient Group. We've never advertised that podcast ever, and we have thousands of listens an episode we're going to do the same thing, ground floor, ground floor following, creating fans with a very niche uh, voice, if you will, that's not going to appeal to everybody. But boy, oh boy, baby, when you implement the things we're going to talk about into your life and your business and your career on here, you're going to crush it. And I look forward to, to many, many more podcasts coming. Again, if you're watching on the YouTube station, this is really our first video here. <laughs> so I appreciate your support. And uh, until, until the next episode, everybody, take great care of yourself, your families, and your customers and team members, and we'll talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Brian Wright here. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, do me a favor. Share The Brian Wright Show with a friend, a coworker, a family member, anyone looking to improve themselves, improve their business, just get better in life. It would really mean the world to me if you also write a five-star review about the Brian Wright Show podcast on whatever outlet you are listening to, Apple, uh, Android, whatever that may be. It would mean the world to me. Look forward to seeing you at the next podcast episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.